Konnichiwa. Welcome to Mast Asia 2019, the Maritime Air Systems and Technology Defense Exhibition currently held in Tokyo, Japan. In our day one video, we're focusing on the ATLA exhibit. ATLAS stands for Acquisition Technology and Logistics Agency. They are showcasing some of the latest projects of the Japanese Armed Forces. Yeah, ATLAS was uh, established about four years ago to, for example, to uh, process uh, 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 export of uh, defense equipment. And also uh, for that purpose, uh, Today's uh, uh, Mast Asia 2019 is a good place for, to, for display some major uh, defense equipment. What is this system? Yeah, this one is called the OZZ-5, built by uh, one of the major in the Japanese industry, MHI, uh, Mitsubishi Heavy Industries. And this one is an uh, autonomous underwater vehicle, that's what we call AUV, uh, that can detect uh, mines especially. So, are uh, using uh, two uh, French sonar systems on both sides, right and left on both sides. I think just finished, the development phase is just finished and, and, and our naval uh, forces right now in the process of uh, introducing this new type of technologies. This size, one meter, is one fourth of the actual size, so the actual size is four meters. So, and uh, this has a uh, very special mission for, as I mentioned, that for mine, detecting mines. So mines. If some countries are pretty much interested in that, we, we are pretty much uh, 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 proactive uh, for having the conversation with that country. This one is an optical fiber hydrophone. Uh, still in a very early stage of uh, research uh, phases. So but, uh, very similar to the sonar, it has a function of a similar, uh, similar function of the sonar type. So um, the speciality is uh, this optical fiber hydrophones is uh, very lightweight and low cost and high reliability compared with uh, conventional hydrophone types uh, uh, hydrophones. US aircraft is uh, very famous for making a soft landing on the high seas. Uh, it can land on very high waves, up to three meters. And also it has uh, equipped a very special technology called uh, BLC, Boundary Layer Control System. With that technology, uh, they can uh, maintain lift and also prevent, um, prevent stall. So, 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 so that is why this uh, special aircraft can uh, have a very smooth landing on, on, on the seas. That's our very future. Using our, our Navy, Navy forces that has right now five uh, this kind of airplanes and operating for res especially rescue mission uh, for around the Japanese and Ireland. Uh, in Asia and in Europe, there are some countries are pretty much interested in uh, purchasing uh, this uh, US airplane. Our situation, uh, we have a lot of islands. Islands has a coral reef around it. Uh, so we need to uh, access the island to 
uh, uh, we need uh, to overcome the coral reef to access that island. So that's why we are uh, doing research of that uh, technology to overcome the coral reef. So we, now we are the, in the research phase for this study. Uh, we put the high power engines and the transmissions and the uh, transfer module, well, all of that uh, existing technology put together and doing a simulation. Uh, now we are trying to uh, find that feasibility. If it's good, we are going to the next phase. And we also doing this uh, research with uh, U.S. Marines, mm -hmm. and we are talking for the future plan right now. This is for the thruster vectoring model for the future fighter. We conducting the research for assessing the capability of the thruster vectoring. Thruster vectoring nozzle has the advantage for reducing the uh, tail for thrust asters as well as improving the maneuverability. At the moment, this project for research space, we don't decide to uh, apply this nozzle to future fighter. At the moment, we conducting the design of the thrust vectoring and we plan to evaluation test uh, next year. We integrated the, this thrust vectoring nozzle uh, into the XF9-1.